this process. Yeah. See, God wants to increase our level of productivity. Yes. He wants us to increase our level of fruitfulness. Yeah. Let me say that again. So wherever you are, and regardless how successful you are, God wants to increase your level of productivity. Yes. He wants to increase your level of fruitfulness. Yes. So you might be already at a high level where God wants to take you above and beyond a high yes. level. Amen.
God wants us to be planted. And God says, I want to be planted in a prophetic place. And God gives us where that place is. Uh, out of the book of uh, 1 Kings chapter 17. Where it talks about Elijah the Tishbite. Who was in the inhabitants of Gilead. Son of the Ahab. As the Lord of God of Israel liveth before whom I stand. There shall not be dew nor rain. But according to my word. Have you ever been in a dry season? Have you ever been in a time or a place where the waters are not flowing and nothing seems to be growing? You know, sometimes God will decree. Sometimes God will ordain a dry season to shift you from where you are to where you are supposed to be. So 
So for a long time, you've been living in a comfort zone. That's where you know everything, you can do everything, you can do it in your sleep, but God is trying to shake you out of that comfort zone. Come on, somebody say amen. God is trying to plant us in a place where we can tap into our potential. He says the pattern for our potential uh, 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 opportunities like he did for Adam. Yes, yes. Look how he set up Adam. First of all, God a garden. Yeah. He planted a garden. The garden of Eden. The word Eden means spot. The word spot in Eden means the presence of God. So God is trying to plant you in a place where the presence of God is flowing. Then he takes Adam and plants him in the garden. So Adam could always be in the spirit. I think some of you will follow me. Yeah. Yeah. Then he takes Adam and puts him in the heart of the garden. And in the heart of the garden was a river. Yeah. And the river was flowing. Somebody say flow. So God wants you to get back in the flow. Because yeah. somebody say man. Yeah. So when, when you get in the flow, God creates opportunity. Yeah. So if you read the book of Genesis where the river is flowing, it flows into four different sub-rivers. Yeah. Are you still thinking with me? Yeah. So you only thought there was one river of life to flow in. You only thought you had one channel to get you where God wanted you to be. But God has created different rivers for you to flow and read the story. That's why Adam was so set up for success. God created everything in the garden that he would need. The same is true for you today. So he sets up four, God, set four rivers. The first river was the prophetic flow. And the prophetic river that flowed through the garden was the open Adam's eyes to see what he could not see yes. and to be what God wanted him to become. Yes. Somebody say, God, open my eyes and I can see. Uh, open my eyes and, I can see. and help me to believe yes. that I can tap into the potential yes. that you ordained for me. Yes. That next river was a healing River, a healing flow, and a healing river or a healing flow, are you listening, is designed to help those that are hurting. Yeah. Yes. Amen. See, some of you are hurting today, and hurt will block up the flow. The good news, you might be hurting, but you're here. Turn to your neighbor and say, I might be hurting, but I'm here. And I begin to sense today that there are some of you that are hurting even now. In fact, we just need to stay in this vein because 